Hi, me again, Jerry. On today's session, we're going to discuss the if, if else, and nested if statements. This would be our following objectives. And this would be the syntax of the if statement. As we apply the use of relational operators, we will use statements that select path whenever a condition or Boolean expression is satisfied. The statement underneath the if statement is executed when the condition is true. Executing multiple statements requires a beginning and ending curly braces. This signifies the block to be executed when condition is met. Condition or Boolean expression must be enclosed with parentheses. See here? Let us consider the following codes. Num has a value of 143. Next is an if statement. The program validates the condition since the relational operator tests the equality of num and the value 143. The condition is true and the word I love you is printed. The next statement will be executed in line 6 that displays end of the program. How about if the condition is false? Let us consider another program. The program executes assignment of value 7 and 3 to num1 and num2 respectively. Next is an if statement that tests if num1 is less than num2. The condition is false because 7 is greater than 3. The if statement simply bypasses the two statements inside the curly braces and proceeds to the next statement and displays end of program. The if statement executes only if the condition is set to be true. How about if you want to execute statements if condition becomes false? We use another variation, the if else statement. This is the following syntax. Once the condition is not satisfied, which is false, the program will branch immediately to the statement underneath, the else statement. Note that the statements are also enclosed with curly braces to show that the block statements to be executed when condition is set to false. Let's work on a sample problem that will help us understand the process of if else statement. We'll create a program positive or negative that will determine if a number is negative or positive. So if we enter a positive number, it will display the number and its corresponding message positive or negative. And after that, a message the program terminates ending the program. Let's start our eclipse. Collapse, <clears throat> go to Java package, right click, new class. Click static void. We'll use a scanner class. Let's import the package for scanner class.
prompt the user to enter the number. Declare the number variable that will hold the value the user entered. We do the declaration here. Let us test now the number. If it is greater than zero, we do this one. A new line concatenated with the number the user entered. A message that this is a positive number. If it is not, it will branch here. And after displaying the message, we display again a message that the program will terminate. No error. <clears throat> Let us save. Run. Display 7. 7 is a positive number. Let us test for negative. Run. Negative 4. Negative 4 is a negative number. The program terminates. Sometimes we are bound to select paths situated on multiple conditions. The previous example program tells if a number is positive or negative. How about if the number entered is 0? We may use another form of if statement on where we combine multiple ifs and else conditions. Here is the syntax. This would be our sample problem revised. If 0 is entered, uh, display message 0 is an origin and display the program terminates. We now create or modify, revise our program. We entered if number less than zero, that would be the negative number. Last is else. System out, print n concatenated with the number and concatenated with the text is an origin. Let us save and run our program. Let us test our previous inputs. 7. 7 is a positive number. Rerun. Let's test for the negative number, negative 4. Negative 4 is a negative number. Let's enter 0. 0 is an origin. Let us discuss the different scenario on what we did on the previous program. We isolate the portion of the program. Okay, we display the enter number. We entered 7. The program accepts the 7. 
we validate the number if it is greater than zero. So this is true. So the message will be displayed. After that, it will jump on the last line and execute the program terminates and display it. What if we enter negative four? So this is scenario two. We enter negative four. Program accepts negative four and store it on number. We validate number greater than zero. Is it true or false? False. It will jump on else if and test if number is less than zero. Of course, it will be true. And display number is a negative number. Negative four is a negative number. And after that, it will jump on the program terminates and display the program terminates. Scenario three, we prompt again to enter a number. We enter zero. Program accepts zero and store it on number variable. We validate the condition if number greater than zero. So this is false. And it will jump to the next else if statement and test if number is less than zero. The answer again is false. It will jump on the last else statement and display number is an origin. And after that, it will jump on the last line, the program terminates. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.